have for so long been uh, educated and conditioned to be, you know, seekers and finders. And uh, somehow, you know, I've been on this path for a long time, I've been looking for this, I've been looking for this. And then finally, ah, found, found, thank you. You see? But then uh, there's, from this place of looking, all of that, the sense of the, the Eureka is also uh, seen. And yes, thank you, it's so good, I finally got it, is also seen. From the place that cannot divide, it's neither a giver nor a receiver. And so for a while we must just keep confirming this. It just gets confirmed, because it is natural that uh, what you may call the ego or the identity uh, wants to celebrate, it feels relief and so on, you see? But gradually, gradually, now it will thin away. It doesn't just pop like a balloon uh, being pinned or something. Uh, it may still continue somehow, you see? It's like the ego is fired, but it keeps showing up for work. You see? And uh, you know, next morning he's back at the desk. <laughs> so, uh, but I fired you, no? I said, I said, no, you were thinking about it. But, uh, I'm, I'm on time, everything. <laughs> so we have to get used to him a bit, keep coming and going. And in some way, this subtle tension, we should not mind this, in fact. Because to mind it too much brings you back into a person. It brings back something that that can be disappointed, which is not uh, the consciousness, the pure consciousness. You see, again, there is still there is still some residual uh, energy uh, in in the form uh, hiding a little bit. But the big job is done. The big cut is done. The the thief has been caught. You see. But still, he's going to keep trying and defending and a little bit like this. And it takes a little time to just gradually just... Because once you have found where he's drawing his power from, just the very exposing of that, you see, is already cutting the juice to that. It will, it will live, just like if you have a fan, foop, 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 you turn it off, it will still keep spinning for a while. But the juice is cut. You see? If you are cooking some dal or something, eh? and, or boiling some milk, you there, you know, no, and you have to be watching, watch him. But if you turn it off, you still, bloop, 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 but you know you can go out and have a coffee. It's okay. It's not going to boil over now because the juice is cut. And in the same way, the this thing is going to keep playing to see, listen, showing, see if you want a bit of business. With the business today, and you somehow your remembrance is bright, you know. You say, You again? Oh, yeah. Or you simply turn away. And gradually, it, it cannot live without uh, interest from you, identity, which came because you were distracted from your state. You see? And I see a place for it. Because sometimes we feel, aha, I've been there, done it now. Now we can cruise. Everything is fine. The rest of my life I live in a hammock. Very good. <laughs> but there's always some tension that will stay there that will keep exercising your spiritual muscle for discerning, to keep checking a little bit. It can there. Also with my master, they asked, somebody once asked him, Papaji, you often talk about vigilance. But for you, in your case, do you have to be vigilant? You see? And he said, to my very last breath, <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh my God, I mean, all this work to do. It's not work, it's not work. It's a quiet It's a joy. This vigilance is a joy. Hmm? The mind says, the work, you know, to keep on doing it. No, 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 it's not a sweaty work. It's a joy. Just every morning you get your brush your teeth in the morning, and evening or whatever, 
He said, oh, twice a day I have to do this. And a year is 365 days. That, no, you see, if you, the mind will do this. You say, I have to do this so much, and how much toothpaste in one week? And uh, you see, that's mind. So simply, as is needed, the inquiry, actually, it will come automatically. And all the inquiry happens, it's like a body, bodyguard to the beingness. It spontaneously come, you see? And it is so wise, in a way, in the spirit, no? And that even if uh, it can listen to lots of things, it can be in the energy of lots of things speaking and moving, and it's not disturbed by it. Some voices saying, I did, and I want, I, 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 and it can laugh along with it. But at some point, it will stop and say, oh, wait a second. What do you mean by I know? You see? It's not like a policeman looking for something when you say, I, ha, ah, what I. No, it's not busy like that. It's completely relaxed in life. So it's not a person, you see. It is just a vibration. It's coming spontaneously like that. And the same way, it knows the kind of thoughts to zoom in on. It catch them now. Hmm? In the beginning, when we first start to inquire, you're discovering the power of inquiry. For a while, we experience a kind of paranoid inquiry. Like every single thing. Well, who did this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? <laughs> so, relax a little bit. Yeah. Who is to relax? Who is to relax? <laughs> so, and then so, gradually something just ah oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Otherwise you burn yourself out. <laughs> so what kind of job have you introduced me to? And gradually, uh, get, rather than catching fish one by one, you throw a net over the whole thing. And you can say, you see, for whom is all of this? No. And quickly, yeah, it is all seen. See? So don't mind that uh, somehow the mind comes up and says, yeah, you know, like this. It's not a big deal. Let him have his moment. This psychological mind identity is on a countdown now. But you don't have to count. You stay in your in this. Just you remaining as you are, without any calculation, no assessment, will burn him, burn that. And it's a beautiful burning because mind is also an aspect of the self. You see? As soon as the consciousness um, somehow descended into a state of personhood. It's like mind descended with it also, to accompany what you may call this kind of soul entity, to play the part of a friend and foe. We need it also to grow and to exercise your powers of discernment. You know? And then when the job is done, everything folds up and into that consciousness. So in one way, it seems like He's trying to trip you up. Why? Because you are trippable. When you are no more trippable, his job is over. You see. How can you get there? Huh? How can you get there? How can you get there? Being no more trippable. It just happens spontaneously. You just abide as the self. Your attention just stays only as the self. As you much as you, as I say, marinate in that contemplation. This just confirming over and over again, as you see. Whatever, whenever the mind goes out to something, like for a while, the power is there to do that, and you simply just you you're in a state of self-remembrance. The attention just comes to be here. Then after a while, it doesn't matter if the attention seems to go somewhere. The power of the self is such that it stays here, and with, when it stays with itself, attention cannot live. It cannot cannot go. You see, because it's not sentient, you know. It, it cannot think for itself. A thought cannot think itself. It, it must play for something that engages with it, and that is the idea we have of who we are, and uh, the whole thing creates this, this, this dynamics. You see, in the in the awareness itself. Hmm? Uh, somehow, everything becomes uh, nullified, purified, in a sense. 
And yet, this dynamic thing can still play. But now, it's like, it's like a snake without its fangs. Somehow, it's, it's, it's very different. You're not mm-hmm. afraid. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you, you know it, you know him. Mm-hmm. And, but more than that, you're, you're just yourself. He has no power in this way. He, he, the psychological kind of serpent mind can only, as I say, intimidate the idea we have of who we are. It cannot intimidate your pure self. When you're, in, uh, you're naturally self-absorbed, these powers cannot come near you at all. They have no meaning at all. Nothing. You see? And when you are not busy uh, fighting ghosts, you see, then your love can just flow. You see? Your joy knows no bound. You see? But will, will you say that this have complete as- acceptance of what it is? Hmm? Is that to have complete acceptance of what it is? Whatever it is, complete, full-hearted acceptance. No, because you have to accept, but because this is where it is, it doesn't yes. touch you. Whatever is needed, it grows out of itself. Thank you. Whatever is needed is not coming from elsewhere. It sprouts out of its own self, if we want to use the term needed, which we can do for a while. You can say whatever is needed in the moment gets supplied. The, be- the self is its best self-supplier. Basically, it supplies everything. <laughs> so you don't have to go out, you don't have to leave your station to go somewhere, something is missing, nothing like that. It seems what I'm speaking can sound oversimplistic, even naive to the, you know, the educated mind, you know? because we're so used to techniques and asanas and trying and accomplishment. And the self is not at all caught up in that traffic. It simply is. We are. It doesn't mean, though, that the self uh, is uh, somehow promoting a kind of laziness. And this is not in it. Yeah? Nor that it's busy with activity or it is responsible. All these things, they only exist in the domain of the mind consciousness, not in the pure self. But if you keep wondering, but I mean, without the sense of responsibility, of moral judgment and so on. You know, what is life for us? Well, if you're going to sit around wondering these things, you're not going to go very far. Some impulse is driving, guiding, pulling, pushing at some point. You to just find and be that rather than learn about it. It's a time when this, uh, you don't want to learn more, you don't want more experience, you just want to be. You see, it's, uh, grace has uh, prepared everything for you. Then the urge is just for this, nothing else will distract you. You see. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It is for you, it is for you.